hi welcome back to one more video tutorial in today's video i'll show you how to make a professional sports company logo so let's begin from the toolbar select the text tool and write company name that is a p e x now increase the size of the text press and hold shift and alt key and drag it outside now change the font so here I will use the font ethnocentric now select the text go to object expand ok again go to object and ungroup them select the alphabet P and move it towards left hand side by using left arrow key on your keyboard Similarly, move the alphabet E and X towards left hand side. Now select the alphabet E and from the toolbar select this direct selection tool. Select this answer point and use a right arrow key on your keyboard and move it towards a right hand side. Now change the color of the alphabet so that it would be uh, visible for you. Now select all the alphabets, go to object, path, offset path and mark this preview and give 15 uh, this offset and OK. And let me change the color of offset. So I am choosing green color. You can choose any other color. No problem. So here we can see uh, this uh, the alphabet will be cut out up to this uh, up to this part. So let us move uh, move the alphabet A towards uh, right hand side so that we get proper shape. And here let us check out with P. So here we can see it, it will cut out up to this much, but uh, I think this will be too much. So let us move it towards uh, left hand side yeah this much is fine so now from the toolbar select this rectangle tool and extend it little bit here up to this much so that we can get a nice shape now select this and the alphabet E by pressing and holding shift key on your keyboard and uh, unite them now select the offset of a now press and hold shift key and select uh, alphabet P and from the toolbar select this shape builder tool now press and hold alt key and delete this portion and delete the offset now select the offset of P press and hold shift key and select the alphabet E and go to uh, this toolbar and select shape builder tool now press and hold alt key and delete this portion now delete the offset of P now select the offset of X and the alphabet E by pressing and holding shift key and again go to toolbar select this shape builder tool press and hold alt key and delete this portion now you can change uh, all the alphabets to the same color now go to toolbar select this pen tool select this anchor point and this point now press and hold shift and alt key and extend the uh, length of the line similarly draw another line here and extend it by pressing and holding shift and alt key and here also do the same extend the line
now select them all from the toolbar select shape builder tool and change the color here now remove all the lines let us make a gap here now select the line and this by pressing and holding shift key and from the toolbar select this shape builder tool now press and hold alt key and delete this portion now let us draw a meter so from the toolbar select this pen tool and from here we'll draw a meter from here to here like this and from here to and join the points you can fill the color now select the pen tool and draw another curve from here to here now select this and uh, increase the stroke and from here choose this one select this press and hold alt key and make a duplicate make one more duplicate now select those two curve and reduce the stroke up to one point rotate them little bit like this and take it upward now let us draw a pointer so from the toolbar select this uh, ellipse tool now press and hold shift and alt key and make a circle and bring this circle here make it a little bit bigger now take this pen tool and uh, draw a straight line here now increase the stroke of the line now expand it now select this line and click on rotate tool now press and hold alt key and take the center to the center of the circle and give 15 degree then check uh, the preview keep 10 degree yeah it's fine and copy now control plus D on your keyboard and make duplicates now select this go to edit copy edit paste in place change the color and uh, 
click on rotate tool press and hold alt key and bring the center to the center of the circle this time we'll give a uh, 5 and copy now control plus D on your keyboard and make duplicate So we don't want those lines, select them and delete them. Up to, up to here we don't want. So up to here delete those lines. Next what we need to do is select all the lines that we have drawn by pressing and holding shift key. and select this now from the toolbar select this shape builder tool press and hold alt key and delete those portion now select this 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 one and select this line and from the toolbar take shape builder tool press and hold alt key and delete it now select those lines And the inner curve take shape builder tool press and hold alt key and delete it now we don't need this and this line and delete it now select this and go to object and lock it so that we can easily select those one and from here unite them now go to object unlock all now select this and remove the outlines from here now let us draw a pointer now select this circle let us increase the size and select this go to edit copy edit paste in place press and hold shift and alt key and drag it inside and make a small circle here select this take direct, direct selection tool select this answer point and move the point to here and here also do the same now select them all take shape builder tool and change the color now delete those inside unwanted things now select the shape go to object path uh, offset path and here you can give the offset that we need a gap here let us increase the offset up to 8 and check it out yes it is fine 
and OK. Now let us uh, give the offset color. Now select this offset, press and hold shift key and select the alphabet P from the toolbar. Select this shape builder tool, press and hold alt key and delete those portion. Now we need some gap here. For that, select this pen tool, draw a straight line from here, now increase the stroke of, of the line from here, we need little bit big, big gap like that. Yeah, this is fine. Go to object, expand it, and unite it. Now select it and uh, select the rotate tool. Now press and hold Alt key and take down this center here. So how much big gap we want? At least I think uh, here we need 20. Yeah, 15 is fine. Copy. Now control D on your keyboard. Now we don't need those lines. Select and delete them. Now select them by pressing and holding shift key and select this one. Uh, go to pathfinder option and minus font. Draw a line here. Take the line little bit uh, upward side. Now select the line, this and this, and take Shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt key, and delete those unwanted portions. Now take this rectangle, and draw a rectangle like this. Fill up the rectangle with color. Draw a line here. Extend it. Now select the line and this new rectangle. Take Shape Builder tool and delete this portion. Now select these two from Pathfinder tool, unite it. Now go to toolbar and select this pan tool. Click on this answer point and on this answer point and extend the line. Select it. Take a shape builder tool, press and hold alt key and delete this portion. Now go to toolbar, select text tool and write the tagline. Now increase the size of the text. Change the font. Bring it here and go to text option. Now 
now select this go to object expand it from the toolbar select this ellipse tool and draw a small uh, circle here bring it on the middle Now select this, press and hold Alt key and make a copy here. Now Ctrl D. Now go to toolbar and select rectangle and draw a rectangle here. Choose black color and send it to back. and go to object and lock it here and select them all and choose white color so that everything is visible now select uh, those alphabet by pressing and holding shift key go to object path offset path and here we'll give minus 5 and let us check yes minus 5 is nice okay and change the offset color so that it would be visible for us now select it go to edit copy edit paste in place now draw a rectangle here and select it take a shape builder tool press and hold alt key and delete it and change the color from here now unlock them all just to lock it change the color to white now select this now select this and similarly use offset for this here let me give 3 yeah it's fine okay and choose a color select this ungroup them Now let us change the color for this. Hope you learn how to make a professional logo. Please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.